everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Bromero Cards and today I am here using some products from Rubbernecker Stamps. Now I am on their design team and I've never really made a video for them before so I thought I would make one with their latest release. It is a Christmas in July release and really I feel like I just stopped making Christmas cards like three weeks ago but here we are again. But anyway, uh, I will be showing you how to make this lovely lad. We got a Christmas wreath, we got a little polar bear, it's so cute, some pattern paper. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video and click the bell so that you know a new video comes out. You guys, I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers this year and I know that you can help me out and get there. So let's get started making the card. Okay, so to make this card, we're gonna be using the Polar Bear Friends stamp set along with the coordinating dies. We're also going to be using the Paper Pack Snowflake Fun. And then we're also going to be using, well, the, that's the pattern paper from it, and then some white cardstock. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our wreath here, along with the bear of our choosing. I decided to go with the one uh, with the little scarf on it, super cute. And we're going to stamp that out in some Copic Friendly Black ink. We're going to get that stamped out and we're going to do some Copic coloring. If you're not interested in the Copic coloring, you'll want to fast forward to about five minutes and six seconds. And that's where I picked up making the card. So I have that stamped out and we'll go ahead and get started. You guys enjoy the coloring and I'll be back in a few moments. Okay, now that the Copic coloring is done, we are going to cut out the wreath here. And what I did was just brought in some circle dies that I had in my stash. And I'm going to place them, one on the outside of, this, of the wreath and one on the inside of the wreath. I'm just going to use some mint tape here to get this placed onto the cardstock. And then we will find the matching die for the bear as well. 
Here I'm just running it through the die cutting machine so that we could get that cut out. I'll run that through and then we will get the wreath cut out. Now I did cut out the wreath again out of three more pieces of white paper because we're going to be stacking this up to add some dimension to the card. And I'm just making sure everything is all even and nice. Um, the wreath is a little bit off, but it's fine. You can't really tell. We're just going to use some liquid glue here and get all of these stacked up together so we have dimension to place on the back of the wreath. Um, you could also use foam tape if you would like to do that as well. All right, now that we have the wreath put together, we will use the matching die uh, to cut out the polar bear here. And uh, he's super cute. I love how he looks. We're gonna get him taped down, run him through the die cutting machine, and there we go. He's cut out all perfect and cute and all that great stuff. The next thing we're gonna do is stamp out the sentiment. And I'm doing this on some black cardstock. I did run my embossing powder over, or my embossing buddy, to remove the static from the black paper, and I'm using some embossing ink here to stamp out the sentiment. I'll go ahead and get that covered with some white embossing powder, and we will go ahead and heat emboss that until it's nice and shiny. Oh, it's always magical, you guys. Heat embossing, always magical. You can never get tired of it. Okay, I did cut that out with my trimmer. I just made it into a square, nothing super hard here. Now I have all the pieces to my card. Now this card is cut at four and a half by three and a half, so it is a smaller card. The pattern paper is also um, cut to that size. And I just thought it would be nice to have like a little note card um, this time. So um, I just made a smaller card and sometimes smaller cards are easier Whoopsie, look at that, all that glue came out. That's okay, we're just gonna use our finger like we did in kindergarten, get that all spread out. And then we're gonna place that down onto the uh, card base. Uh, what I was saying about the smaller card is it's easier to fill up and use your products. So here, you're, you know, I only have three things. So on a regular uh, three and a half, or four and a quarter by five and a half, this would have looked pretty plain, but because this is smaller, it looks cuter and it looks like more stuff was used. So I'm just lining up the bear here. I wanna make sure that he's about in the center, about up in the one third of the card, and we'll get everything placed onto the card. And you guys, this is pretty much done. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you Rubbernecker Stamps for having me on your design team and providing me with these products to make this lovely Christmas card. This could be easily be mass produced, easily, I believe. Um, so we'll put some foam tape on the back of that sentiment and we're done, you guys. Make sure you click the links down in the description to check out all the products. Check us all out over on all the, all the social medias and all that stuff. Check me out at Bromero Cards on Instagram and Rubbernecker Stamps on all of them. You guys have a great week. Bye.